Hello, Trent Jesse here. In this video tutorial, I'll be teaching you about the uh, photo customization section within your Woo theme for WordPress. So when you log into your admin area for WordPress, simply navigate over to your theme options and then click on Footer Customization. And then you can get started off with customizing the footer section of your website. The uh, footer section of your website is found at the very bottom of your site. So when you scroll down, these sections right here, you'll notice that there's four sections, one, two, three, four. These four sections are the areas that you can customize using the footer customization, along with the uh, text down at the very, very bottom. So your site name or your company name, copyrighted symbol, and the year and all that's reserved. You can put whatever text you want here, along with any text over here on the right-hand side and so this is just text that I've customized and put there on my own and you can take your, your site and customize it yourself using the footer customization. So the footer widget areas can be controlled by clicking on the box that you desire. This section right here, this box just indicates that there's not going to be a widget section at all. So indicating that there would no not be anything here at all. So I've marked the four widget areas for the footer section and so that's why you see those four sections and so forth so you can choose three and two and one and none alright if you are an affiliate with WooThemes then you can simply put your affiliate link right here and that will show at the very bottom of your website if you want to enable the custom footer section in the left hand area then you can just mark that box and put the text or HTML that you desire right here in that box and then the same thing for the right section of your footer. So it can be HTML or text, and this is the HTML, that's what it looks like. You can develop that on your own using just a standard blog post and then delete it afterwards is what I do. And then uh, paste it right there, and when you're all done, click on Save All Changes and you're set to go.